is double time. Sunday they give me more money. Sunday they give me more this. Sunday I get all this. Sunday I got all that. Sunday is so nice. Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, you are playing inside the territory of the one who want to destroy you. There is a saying. The two sheep were fighting over a little forage. Very, very small forage. And instead of them eating a little bit piece themselves and go, each of these sheep wanted to eat it all. So they started fighting amongst themselves. I mean, amongst each other, two of them. So they started fighting. So they keep fighting. They kept fighting. They kept fighting to a point that they got tired. And both of them will go and stay under a tree. And once they have just catch their breath, they come back again and, and start the fight afresh. Now, the wolf was hiding somewhere on the rocks with his fork and knife and his bib ready, waiting that one of the sheep will murder the other so that he will come and have his dinner served. But he realized that these fools are not killing each other because they are evilly. So the wolf came around and told the sheep, guys, what is going on here? So the wolf she started explaining their, their matters to, to, the, to the wolf. Telling wolf that, Mr. Wolf, <coughs> You see this little foliage here is juicy. It's better than all the foliage here. And I saw it first and I want to eat it all. Then the other sheep said, yeah, Mr. Wolf. I also saw it first from that side and I want to have it all. So Mr. Wolf, thinking about the issue, he came up with a plan. So he told the two wolves that the best thing he can do is to take that foliage down. And he, Mr. Wolf, have a place that when he put that foliage there, by the next day, it will multiply by 10. And each of the wolf can have abundance uh, to eat it with themselves and their husbands and their wives and their whole village so the sheep look at it and say fine this foliage is more juicy so maybe we want more of it so let's listen to what mr wolf have to say at least uh, at least the wolf it's always a good person, right? So the wolf cut it down and told one of the sheep that, look, if I take it at myself, you can see that I'm not feeling well. So if I, tomorrow, if I don't wake up, then who is going to come and take your foliage after it has multiplied? Because where I will put it is a secret place that the foliage will multiply every single day. So, so, so maybe you, Mr. Sheep, A, you can carry this with me. Go to the place. And if tomorrow I am not still alive, you know where to find your foliage and you can come for it. The other one said, no, 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 no. I have to do it. No, no. So the, the wolf said, okay, let's do a, to a coin toss. They toss a coin. 
and Mr. Sheep be warm. So he took the foliage on himself, hoping that in the morning it will turn into a, a whole lot of feed for them. In the mind of Mr. Wolf, he saw his dinner coming to him that he doesn't have to run after them. But the stupid sheep thought that Mr. Wolf thought or think about any good for them. So Mr. Wolf managed to bring the sheep into his cave and ate that sheep. The next morning he came and the other sheep, which is the A, was waiting. So Mr. Wolf asked, the, the sheep asked Mr. Wolf, where is sheep B? He said, oh, he's eating so much that his belly is stuffed that he cannot even move. Come and see him. He's so fat because, because he's so ah, the, 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 the sheep A said, take me, take me, take me, take me quickly, take me, I want to eat, take me, take me. Sheep said, Okay. Look, I'm just a good person. I will take you there if you want me to take you there. But tell your kids that if you stuff and you cannot come, I can also come back and help them so that they will also come to you to eat. So this sheep went around and told all his children that you see, Mr. Wolf is a good man, he's a kind man. If he comes around to ask you to come and eat from the new foliage, you need to run after with him and come and eat. Because by the time you come and find me there, I have been, I, I, will, I, would, I will be so fat as that I, I'm just fat. Because it, it, it's so nice. It will be so nice. The children say, that, yeah, 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 they are all happy. The stupid sheep, greedy sheep, followed Mr. Wolf. And Mr. Wolf had another good dinner. Two days on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, what am I saying? I am saying that this world is playing with the same wolf. You see, most Christians, most of the people of this world has forsaken the danger of this world. It's not because they don't know. They know the danger of this world. But right inside them, they refuse to see it. The sheep knew that they are the dinner of the wolf. But because of greed, they refuse to see that the one who is standing in front of them, the one who is showing them all this crazy stuff, new gender ideologies new ideologies new stuff new 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 all abomination and decadence telling them that this is the new style this is the new trendy stuff they refuse to see the evil in it even though they know it is evil to begin to implant sexuality in children they refuse to condemn it. They refuse. Knowing well. That even that is bad. Because they are living in the kingdom. A kingdom. Not of God's. But of this world. 
I'm going to be stopping here today, ladies and gentlemen. We will be continuing on this particular parable. I told you there are so much Jews here. I have only talking about the kingdom. I have not even spoken about the far country. And I'm not, I have not even spoken about the man. I just spoke about the kingdoms only. God willing, next week, we'll be following up. As I told you, there are so much into this that, ladies and gentlemen, it will take us some time to overcome. But what I want to tell you today, what I want you to understand is that whose kingdom are you? Are you in the kingdom of God or you are in the kingdom of this world? Are you in the kingdom of God or you are in the kingdom of Persia? Are you in the kingdom of God or you are in the kingdom of Grecia? Whose kingdom do you dwell? Because it is a question that you need to ask yourself. Today, if you can hear the sound of my voice, I want you to bow down your head in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, King of Kings, I bless your holy name, Lord.